Hello guys, my name is Remik and in today's video we'll talk about Azure Application Insights Logging from .NET Web API, how to use the Serilog as the logger provider in order to push your logs into the Azure Cloud. If you haven't subscribed my channel yet, then please hit the subscribe button down below, write a comment, give a like, and now as always, now I'm going straight into the code. Alright guys, so at first we need API to start with Application Insights Logging and we will use the API that was built in this video, so crude with React TypeScript and .NET 8 Web API with Entity Framework Core and SQL Lite. It's everything available and will be linked on the top of this tutorial. If you would like to fetch this repository, it's available under the Reminger Zalewski YouTube videos, and then you have to search for the movies and you can normally fetch this repository. And now once we have the API, we are ready to create application insights resource in the Azure portal. And it's very simple, you have just to select subscription, create the new resource group or select an existing one. I'll just create new one, demo resource group, let's say, I'll just click OK. The name will be app insights demo YouTube. I will just select the region as the Germany West Central and for the workspace details I will just select Visual Studio Enterprise Subscription and the Log, Log Analytics Workspace as it is. And now I will just go to the next one and we don't want to assign any tags for this specific resource so we will just click next. And as we see the validation passed and we are ready just to a click create and to create, in fact, the application insights in our Azure resource group. And as you see, this movies application is having the exception handler that is based on the specific exception type is returning specific problem details to the user that is accessing, for instance, uh, the movies from our API and in fact also the exceptions are also thrown. So we'll be able to push all of those exceptions and also the traces to the application insights. And the first thing to do is to install uh, associated with the Serilog Nugget packages to set up the Serilog and after that to set up also the application insights sync that will allow us to push our logs into the application insights. And now you have to install those three nugget packages. So the serilog extensions dot hosting, serilog settings configuration, and also serilog syncs dot application insights. So we'll just do all of those. So I'll just start with the serilog extensions hosting and I'll just install this in movies.presentation project. The next one, as it was shown, it will be serilog.configuration settings configuration. I'll install this one and the last one was this one associated with the application insights, in fact. So, serilog syncs dot application insights. And now we have to set up our serilog in the program CS file of the API, and we'll use the serilog as the only one logger provider. So, we'll just type builder dot dot host dot use serilog, and in here. We'll use, we'll use the context and also the configuration. And we'll open this up and inside of it we'll just use the configuration dot read from dot configuration and it will be the context dot configuration. And now also just in case that you would like to use the Serilog as the additional logger provider, not the only one, we'll also just write var logger is equal to new logger configuration. And then it will be the read from 
configuration and it will be the builder.configuration and create logger. So we'll have this actual logger here and we'll use the builder.logging.add serilog and we'll use this logger that we have created here. In this way, you will have serilog as the additional logger provider and this configuration will assign the serilog to be the only one logger provider. And now after setting up the serilog as the logger provider in the program CS file, we are ready to set up also the upsettings JSON file. So we have to create uh, another section in our upsettings JSON file and it will be called, of course, serilog. We have to open this up and we'll use this using. It will be an array and we have to provide the name of the things that we would like to use and it will be the serilog.syncs.application insights. We have to add the comma here and to use the minimum level and the minimum level we have to open this up and also the default that we would like to set up it will be the information and the next one we have to overwrite and to override the Microsoft and the Microsoft warning and also the system warning as well. And now after the minimum level, we can just use also the write to and the write to it will be also an array to we'll open JSON and it will have the name inside of it. And the name will be the application insights, of course. Application insights and the arguments for that will have the telemetry converter. Telemetry converter and it will be the serilog dot syncs application application insights dot telemet telemetry converter converters trace telemetry converter telemetry converter and the comma after that and then serilog dot syncs application insights after that and then after going out of this write to array we would like to also enrich our logs with this from log context we will have the context of the log in fact in here and we'll use also the properties to assign some kind of the distinguisher for our logs and i'll just have application as the distinguisher in here and we'll just assign this to our name of the application so the movies app and now for sure you wanted to ask, okay, Remy, but how you can set up the serilog with the application insights when you didn't provide any connection string or whatsoever. So I just wanted to emphasize where to find these values. So the instrumentation key or the connection string. So you can just copy this value out from there, but I also prefer just to go into the configure section and into the properties. And here you have the whole view of the properties of your application insights and you can just copy to the clipboard this connection string and in this arcs inside of the right to we'll just add the connection string section and we'll just paste the value that we have copied from the azure portal and now we are ready to start our api 
and be ready to see our logs in the application insights. And now I've started up my movies application and in the Swagger itself, I would like to invoke some kind of exception and check if it will be logged into the application insights or not. So I would like to just put invalid data in the page size and the page number. So I'll just put some kind of value here and here. And I will check if, yeah, as you see, we have the internal server error status 500 and the unexpected error occurred. So this is the problem details that was returned from our exception handler. And now I would like to go to the application insights and check if this exception was actually locked. Now in the application insights to see our logs, you have to go into the monitoring section and open up this logs tab. And as you see here on the right side, we have the KQL mode selected and also we have the simple mode. The difference is that this KQL mode will respect our queries. So as you see here, I have already the exceptions where custom dimensions dot application is equal to the movies app. And as you remember, in here, we added the special property and it's called application and the value is the movies app. So when we'll go once again into our application insights, we can just use this one in order to retrieve the specific exception related only to our distinguisher. And as you see, we have the type of the exception. We have the author type that it was the bad HTTP request exception. We have also the author message that it was failed to bind the parameter integer page size from the specific value that we just randomly type. And also we have the details and the custom dimensions. As you see, we have this movies application and that's why it retrieved for us this specific log. And also we have the details. And when we will just expand this a little bit, we see the message of the exception, severity level of an error, and also the type and the parsed stack. And when you would like to use only the simple mode, you can select the simple mode. Over there, you have the tables, you have a lot of tables, but we were using only the exceptions in this specific video. And also you would like to maybe push the custom events, custom metrics, request and so on and so forth but we'll just focus in here uh, about only the exceptions so i'll use the run button and as you see it retrieved also all the exceptions related to our application because yeah nothing actually is using this application insights instance and as you see the exception is completely the same so you are ready now to push your logs into the application insights from your .NET Web API.